scared. It's okay. I know you are. Not a little. It's understandable. It's a big weekend for you. Turkey sandwich with pickles. Yeah. Waffle extra syrup for the grown boy. Man. Hmm? Grown man. <laughs> I stand corrected. Can I get y'all anything? I'll have a coffee. Don't shy away. You meet her gaze with an even stronger gaze. A woman's gaze is a test, son. She says more with her eyes than she ever would with any words that come out of her mouth. Are you serious right now? What, you think I'm fucking blind? Tessa. You know what? I don't need this shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. I just smiled. Hey. Are, are you okay? Fine. Just a disagreement. That's all. Hey. Why don't you come join us? Sure. Come on. I'm Cassandra. Uh, I'm Jackson, and, and this is my dad. I'm Carter. Thank you. So, uh, so, so what happened? Tessa saw me smiling at you, and she got pissed. She's very passionate and very possessive. You two are a couple? Well, we were. We just got back from our trip from Greece. It was heaven. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I guess now, you know, I can... Now you're, you're free. Right, yeah. I'm free now. At least until school starts again. I teach Greek history at Piedmont. No way. No, I, I'm sorry, you and GA in a few weeks. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. You have your whole life ahead of you. That's what I keep telling them. And it's all gonna start right after our hunt. Oh. You guys looking to bag some quail or something? Something like that. I think that's great. Father and son having some male bonding time. It's kind of an endangered activity these days. Wish more women thought the way you did. I'm sure your wife gets it. My, my mom died uh, right, right after I was born. So. I'm really sorry. Yeah, no, it, it's okay. Um, my dad's given me everything I've ever needed. Really. I mean, I, I hope I'll taught him everything he needs to move forward in this life. Especially the cardinal rule about the hunt. Never get too emotional or close to your prey. <laughs> oh, here. Here's for both. You, sir, are a gentleman. <laughs> That's another important lesson you can learn from your dad. How to treat a lady. So, um, where are you headed after this? Nowhere in particular. Not much to boot, but I'll make do. Um, <clears throat> Cassandra, we're going to our hunt and we were thinking. Why don't you come with? The cabins are a little rustic, you know, but they're nice and they're private. You'd have your own. So there's a really nice beach. I like what I'm hearing so far. Well, you haven't heard the best thing. Each participant has a chance at winning $100,000. And when you say participant, does that potentially include me? 
I don't see why not. Of course, some of us have been doing it quite a while, so you might be at a slight disadvantage. I'll take my chances. I will go anywhere there's beach. <laughs> okay. Yeah? Yeah, as long as you get me back by Monday. Well, we will. We're gentlemen. Yeah. Okay. We go? Yeah. <laughs> Be any way that we'd miss your boys' first hunt? No way, man. Ain't nothing like it. <laughs> yeah, stones won't even fit in your shorts by the time we're oh, finished with you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, this is what your uh, third hunt? No. Yeah. yeah. Hell, I do this every weekend if I can. <laughs> uh, uh, this is Cassandra. She's gonna be joining us for Jackson's That's hunt. Oh, well, Cassandra, it's nice to meet you. I'm Teddy. This is my brother Preston right here, and this lovely lady right here is Lexi. We call her our new friend with an old soul. <laughs> yeah, well, we met Cassandra at the diner. She uh, she got stranded by her friend. Oh, how fortuitous! Uh -huh. I do believe everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Let's get on that boat. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Did you really just meet them in a diner? Yeah. Got stranded and just bumped into him. What about you? Online. Starvingstudents.com. Trying to gather my college tuition. 100 k could go a long way. Taking money from rich men. Perfect picture of third wave feminism. Well, some chicks think that grinding on a pole gives them power. For me, grass would be greener. And my bank account is too. <laughs> It's not like a perk suck. Free food, free drink, beaches, cute boys. I'm old enough to be his mother. Yeah, if you were like 12 when you had him. Hey, at least he's got one parent. It's more than some of us can say. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. your profiles, especially the part about what brought you out here. We're just honored to be accepted in the club, sir. <laughs> We're raring to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> Cassandra, this is Conrad and Williams. This is their first hunt, too. This is James. He and Bob are not only caretakers, they're also avid hunters themselves. Mm. Is this the New Zealand? Yes, sir. It's Sister Ross. Thank you. Wow. This is fantastic. Nothing but the best for our guests. Wait till you try his cuisine later. He wouldn't be trying to fatten us up for the slaughter, would you? <laughs> Come on, Jackson, let's go check out the beach. Sweet enough. It's not grease, but... <laughs> no, it's perfect. Have you been here before? No, it doesn't take me till I was old enough. He talks about it all the time. He says it's like the best thing since... Man invented the wheel? Yeah, something like that. And how about you? Is it all that to you? 
You know, Jackson, whatever it is you do on this hunt, it's not what makes you a man. You become a man by recognizing and following your moral compass, not by killing some animal. Yeah, yeah, I know. But, um, but, but Dad says it's the first step. Well, the first step is learning how to make your own decisions. So clear you can almost see the heavens. Perfect conditions for a hunt. How many teams you got going out? Teddy and Preston. A couple new guys from Wall Street. Oh, and Jackson. Oh, your boy's punching his V card. What's the over under? Three hours for a kill. You gonna take a position? You better believe it. Next best thing to being there. Find anything in her cabin? No, I didn't find shit. Nothing. Thanks for checking. Sorry about my paranoia. She just seemed a little familiar. Familiar? Yeah. Yeah, well, after a while, they all sort of look alike, you know? <laughs> <laughs> song about somebody I'm really digging right now. Yeah, me too, buddy. Come on, come on. Let's go start the bonfire. We'll meet you down there shortly. How's your cabin? Perfect. The shower was amazing. Mm. What's that you're drinking? Petrus Pomerol, 2014. Oh, sounds expensive. <laughs> Thousand dollars a bottle. Wow. James, glass for our guest. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Rule's a little flexible for the underage drinker. Your dad's the owner. That's the last glass. Don't you sloppy on the field. Yes, sir. <laughs> the others, they're make club members? <laughs> Those sportsmen who enjoy the true meaning of the hunt and the valuable life lessons it affords. I see a lot of trophies, but why the masks? We celebrate the hunt in a different way. The experience itself that makes it sacred. Wow. When you put it that way, it almost sounds beautiful. Makes you appreciate what they sacrificed. You're a fascinating woman. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be drinking so much around these guys? Oh, please. I've taken care of myself my whole life. A couple of preppies pitching tents in their chinos. I ain't gonna fuck this girl shit up. <laughs> oh, shit. Glad you leave me. Got a new guy on the way. See yourself because it's time to tell. Right from wrong and the night from day. You think that you're happy now, but baby, you don't know. Um, I'm not really that good. I'm happy to teach you. Not really my area of expertise, but I'm not bad. Okay. <laughs> so tall. Really bad. Really good. <laughs> 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 
All right, gentlemen, let's get these ladies to their rooms. All right, I've got an early morning. Hello, girl. Daddy's home. Hey, take it, take it. All right, boys, y'all pick out what you want. I like what I see. I like it. I like it. Come on. I ain't got all day. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Brown hair, blue eyes. Oh, that's a nice choice. I want the one with the green eyes. With the green eyes. Yeah. Look at that face. Just take her ass up. Come on, I ain't got all day, brother. Bring her over here. Come on now. Come on. Here we go. Oh yeah. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'll get you. Now, this one here. Let me go for a little walk. A little walk. <laughs> so it's giving me a little trouble. You see how she's behaving? You don't talk anymore, right? Look at those teeth. Look at that. Come on, you boy. Look at that. Huh? You behave, right? Well, you're going to see the whip on your ass. And then I'm going to stick them dogs on you. Huh? So you'll be nice to this dude, huh? Look at that. Look at that face, huh? Wouldn't you like to take a bite out of that, huh? Come on. Come on. You behave, right? You got 30 minutes of a head start, then we come after you. When you come back to camp before the 24-hour period, Virgil and the dogs will get you. So should we get started? Uh, I think we're still missing Teddy, Preston, and uh, and your boy. Just want to go round them up? The hunt started, so we will too. Last time you heard the word masculinity without the word toxic attached to it. Yeah, right. Life is a jungle. For hundreds of years, we were the alphas of that jungle, the apex predators. Today, men everywhere, they're, they're being emasculated, castigated, and in some cases, literally castrated, all for the ostensible sin of being born with a Y chromosome. Preach it, brother. Right. That's provided your gender is a given, an inalienable right. If you ask too many people today, we don't even technically or biologically exist. We're a choice, a, a social construct. All this is being done in the name of equality. But do you sense that being equal is the objective? Hell no. no. No way. So I want to know why you're here. What brought you to the hunt club? And how are you going to reclaim your masculinity? You're going to let you going to like this. Hey, watch your hands, buddy. <laughs> Look, I think you guys know my name is Conrad. This is my brother from another mother, Williams. The uh, two of us run a hedge fund. Yeah, correction, used to. See, we used to be alpha males. That's how it works in the finance world, right? It's dog eat dog. So one day, HR comes in, says, I can't take a meeting in my office unless I have a woman present taking notes, and I gotta leave the door open, Bullshit. right? And then if I wanna go have drinks with my fellow coworkers, I gotta be late to arrive and leave early so they see with witnesses that I didn't take somebody home. 
I mean, this shit's actually printed in the fucking HR handbook. So what? Now we're supposed to go through life with a tag-along woman? <laughs> <laughs> Making sure that we're not doing something wrong with another woman? It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, so we said, fuck that shit. And they fired our asses. They fired our fucking asses. I mean, when did women start telling us how to act like men, right? I mean, we are men. We are primal, strong, sexual beings. We used to be the stronger sex. We asserted our dominance. <laughs> we found the Kennington. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, come, come, come. Right. So we are reclaiming our biology right here, right fucking now. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that cathartic input. Now, as for me, I agree with everything you gentlemen just said. Do you want to know why? Because just as in nature, the hunt is the ultimate act of supremacy. <laughs> oh, OK, take it easy, guys. This is going to go a lot easier if you don't fight. <laughs> As head of the Hunt Club, I'm connected to some very powerful men. Yes, they have made me a lot of money over the years, but that's not the only thing I'm grateful for. They have showed me why God put me on this earth. It was to help other men reclaim their masculinity, to go back to the way things were before. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Not just for us, for future men, for our sons. My son grew up without his mom, and my wife, she, she was amazing. She would have showed my son where the line was drawn between men and women, but without her steadying hand and me have to work round the clock to try and provide, Jackson lost his way. And about six months ago, I, uh, I got off work early into Jackson's room, trying to look around while he was at a rehearsal there in the middle of his closet, with a corset. He hasn't even had a girlfriend yet. Well, I guess I'm not your average woman. Yeah, I figure that much. Lexi said that she met Teddy and Preston on a website for starving students. Did they tell you anything about that? They don't, they don't really tell me too much around here. What about the girls that came here before? Do you know anything about them? You know, you don't have to do this. You can back out at any time. I don't, I don't think you get it. I don't, I don't have a choice. I, I have to. Never mind. I'm, I'm sorry. You know, back in my day, my dad, he would have taken me out and given me a whipping for that. I mean, it's not like we didn't see our fair share of that shit. I mean, some women in college, I mean, they went gay and then they washed the purple out of their hair, got married and. Settle down, for Christ's sake. I mean, these kids right. today, right. their foundation, the very core of their essence is being warped. And there's no difference between men and women. Well, the fuck there isn't. I'm a man, and that's my identity. Yes. Fuck yeah. Yes. And in a couple hours, it's going to be my son's too. I could take him to a million therapists. I could beg with him, plead, argue. But with one shot from a hunter's rifle or a bolt from a crossbow, he can feel the raw, primal power of masculinity. He could become a man. You men, you men are blessed to be a part of this hunt club, to be able to reclaim your manhood, to feel what it's like to be the top of the food chain again. Conrad, Williams, your hunt is on. If we make it to the shoreline, I think we can beat them. Major, did you beat them? I've been counting in my head. We should have nearly 10 minutes left. Woo! Boys ready? Fuck yeah. Let's do it. Woo! Let's go! Yeah. yeah. Woo! Hunt. 
Hunt. Hunt. Hunt. Hunt. Hunt. Hunt. Hunt. Hunt. Hunt. Yeah! Hunt. 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 Let's go! Come on! We can just get you to join us. I think we lost. Ah! Oh my god! 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 Okay, wait. Wait, I can help you. You, I can help you. I have information. I have information. <laughs> Are you thirsty? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> it's okay. Lace ish. The animals don't have names. Describe her to me. The, the girl, the, the black girl, she's. You'll, you'll let me go if I tell you. Of course. You have my word. She's making a weapon. A, a shank from, from from a bone from our food. She's, she's sharpening it. Where does she hide it? In her bra. It's not that big. What does she plan to do with it? Escape? Attack one of us? She, she, she didn't mention it. She just, All she said was that she wasn't going to be a victim anymore. Tell the others. <laughs> Please, I don't want to die. I told you what you wanted. Please just let me go. <laughs> you did good. You did real good. Now I just got one thing to tell you. <laughs> what? Run. <laughs> Ratting out her friends like all those other spineless bitches. Fuck her. Exactly. Fuck her. Let's get rid of this. Oh, you got a heavy one. Nice. Your tattoo. It's just like your friends, right? Yeah. You're very observant. Did you get them in Greece? Yeah, it was Tessa's design. She must be really important to you. She saved my life. What happened?
About a year ago, my daughter was in town visiting. She'd been living with her father ever since I decided that I liked women, too. Folks, especially family court judges, weren't too sympathetic to my circumstances. Anyway, we were having a great time being together, just catching up. And then she tells me that she's going out on a date with some guy that she met online. Um, look, uh, you don't you have to tell me. No, I do. I should have said, no, you're just a kid. You don't know this person. But I didn't want to put her off so soon after reuniting. So I said, okay, have fun. That was the last time that I saw her. Hey, hey, look, it's not, it's not your fault. Yes, it was. We owe it to those weaker than us to protect them. After she disappeared, I, I just couldn't look at myself anymore. I'd pick the shadiest of bars and just get blasted out of my mind, hoping somebody would end me. <laughs> and you know what they say, ask and you shall receive, right? I was in a really dark place. I was drinking all the time. I was an easy target for anyone looking. They grabbed me, they ripped my shirt. But before I even knew what was happening, Tessa was there. She practically hey! smashed this guy's skull in with a pipe and broke this other dude's leg with a kick. It was like my avenging angel had finally arrived. She said she was a daughter of Artemis. Who's that? One of the most respected of all the Greek gods. Zeus's daughter. The goddess of the hunt. Oh, so that's a hunter's tattoo. It's really beautiful. So are you. <laughs> um, and what's what's that? My daughter's gift. She bought two. And we swore to never take them off, so we knew we'd always be connected. I'm really sorry. You have your whole life ahead of you, Jackson. Think about your choices. Where are you going? It's time for bed. I'll walk you out. Okay. Thanks for talking to me. Thank you for talking to me. Of course. I really like talking to you, Jackson. Me too. I appreciate you listening. There's a lot that I haven't really told anyone before, so. Good night, Cassandra.
You may be right. You've been there the whole time? Gotta keep an eye on my boy. Make sure he makes good choices. And you don't think that that's a little creepy? Standing out here all alone in the dark? You think I'm a little too protective? I think you're trying to make your son something that he's not. Maybe you're right. I guess it's time for us to talk about why we're really here. The hunt? I was wondering when you were gonna ask. How do I make that hundred grand? Thought you'd never ask. Gentlemen. <laughs> That was fast. Yeah, it's trying a new mixture. Huh. You guys collect Teddy and Preston's girl yet? They want to play with her some more, till it's time. But the restraints are already in place. You tell them to knock that shit out. We're gentlemen, not animals. We got a big morning. Put it with the rest. Yes, sir. Just go check it out, please. I'm not We're not I'm doing not anything else. Just please go I check it out. Hi. I'm, I'm so sorry. I was just... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. No, no, no. I, Stop. I... Who are you and what the hell are you doing? I'm so sorry. I, I was kayaking and I must have taken a wrong turn. I'm, I'm completely lost. I, I don't mean any trouble, I, I swear. She, she can use the phone. Back up at the place. It's all good. Need a phone? Thank you. All right, let's go, let's go, let's get it. Just come on, just get a move on. Yeah, right? I think so. It was rough, even for me. Oh, come on, don't be a spoiled sport. No! <laughs> come on, it'll be fun. Tomorrow, anything you guys want, please let me get some sleep tonight. Oh, no, but we want to go tonight. No! Yeah, indulge us. I mean, you're getting paid for this, and tomorrow's the hunt. No! It's not happening! I don't want to! See, I told you this is a fun game. It's fun. Fun, fun, fun. fun. <laughs> Barn. It's where they keep us. Or rape us. How did you get here? I came as a tourist from Wales. Thought if I made the right connections, I could get a visa and stay. Become a nurse. Simple plan, you know. Do some good, live a good life. This young guy I met told me he knew a judge who could take care of it. He said I should come meet him at this hunt. I mean, it's a tradition where I come from, right? Yeah. 
Instead of a dead fox, you won a hundred grand. Correction. Where they can win a hundred grand. They didn't exactly bring us here to hunt with them. Why do you think they brought us here? <laughs> well, they brought us here to hunt, all right. They brought us here to hunt us. Here I was. A community organizer. Some guy hit me up after the protest, said he was sympathetic to the cause. Said he'd give me a shot of bringing 100K. I thought I'm never changing, you know? White men finally listening to us. I said, not dumb, just blinded by greed like the rest of us. We all played into that trap. And the fact that we did only justifies all this for them. Have any of you seen a girl who wears an anklet that looks like this? I don't know. They keep us locked up and half starved. Girls keep coming and going. I've been here the longest. How long? Months, maybe. Uh, we don't have a clock or a calendar, but none of the other girls who were here before me are left. But I heard a young girl try to escape before I got here. Do you know what happened to her? What do you think happened to her? They brought us all here to die. I'll help you escape. There's just something I need to do first. Didn't you hear me? There's no way out. Except dying. And maybe, just maybe, we are taking one of them with us. Hey, you there? What do you got? We're in position in the northeast. We started our patrol, but then we found a kayak on the beach. Well, we investigated a little bit more, and we found a two-man tent. Any sign of the occupant? No. Uh, Whoever it is, it looks like they paddled up on shore and started a cold camp. Tracks tell you where he's heading. There are none. We would have thought that the kayak was a wash-up if we didn't find the tent. It could just be a visitor. We don't get visitors. What do you advise? I'm thinking, lone man. Pack the tent in the kayak and scud a little out to sea. Someone will eventually find it. And think you died in the water. Roger that. And Bob, you need to find him. And what happens if we make contact? Hmm. Draw straws, see who gets first shot. Sounds like a plan. Good, I'm gonna feed them dogs. Where is everybody? Oh, Teddy and Preston running late. Everybody else is in position. Today's all about you, son. You ready? Yeah. Well, let's go get your quarry. Yeah. Come on. customary for a hunter to choose his quarry. Who do you choose? Um, oh, she'll do fine. She's got a lot of fire in her. Well, since you brought game, a hunter is entitled to a second choice, if he chooses. Who's your second? Um, the redhead. I forgot. Hunt rules. The second is always the quarry that was brought. That would be you. Well, 
let's have some fun, boy. Yeah. <laughs> you have to survive for 24 hours. If you do, we will pay you $100,000, as promised. And then we'll let you go. Bullshit. I assure you, I am a gentleman. And as such, my word is my bond. Yeah, but that's because no one actually made it out of here, right? You'll be in a forest, surrounded by water, miles away from the nearest town. Water's filled with crocs, snakes. Beaches are patrolled by hunters who will turn you back to the forest or shoot you if you try to swim away. If you return to the compound before the allotted time, you will be shot on sight. Do you understand? How much time do we have before you come after us? Half an hour. Release him. May God be with you! Well, you know what? That bitch is right about one thing. Ain't nobody ever escaped from here. <laughs> <laughs> Those two boys racked up them two girls like old pros. But we find new additions to the club. Made me a pretty penny, too. Great, Steve. And glad to hear Malcolm. What time is your boy heading out? Any minute now. Your boy nervous? Nah, he's a chip off the old. Why have to be Cassandra? Back soon, gentlemen. You been drinking? Answer my question. You knew when you came here that you'd be hunting a woman. Yeah, but not her. I'm... It's nice. Sooner or later, she'd have to be hunted too. You knew that when she came with us. I don't want to. But you will. This was my grandfather's. He took it off a German officer he killed with his bare hands. He then passed it to my father on his first hunt, and then passed it down to me. Now, it's my turn to give it to you. We're gonna fix you, son. Today, you will make decisions that will direct the rest of your life. Today, you become an alpha male who never has to fear a woman again. When your son becomes worthy to hunt, you, uh, you give that to him. So now you go get yourself some breakfast. I, I, don't, I don't think I could even eat right now. Understandable. When you're ready, go see Virgil. He's got some uh, equipment for you. Good luck, son. We need to split up. Spread out the odds. You should stay with me. I can help protect the uh, hell. I should. What the fuck do you think that you can do for me besides slow me down? At least I got this. As soon as I get a chance, I am sticking that white fucker and I'm taking his crossbow. And then I'm actually gonna really have a chance. And how do you plan on doing that before getting killed first? Don't worry about me, okay? You pick a direction, and I'm gonna go the other way. Do not follow me. Shape. Pray of separating.
I guess they think if they split up, uh, they're going to be harder to find. Jackson. Stay where you are. Put down the crossbow. Can't. This is the only way. No. This is evil. And you know it. We can figure a way out of this. I can't. I promised my dad. You can tell him you were wrong. Stay where you are. Jackson, listen to me. Put down the crossbow. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There you go. It's okay. It's okay. Good boy. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not a boy. I'm a man. yet no sir let me know as soon as you make contact with the visitor and there's still one from the hunt alive roger that well what's the word stay on your toes what if it makes a break for the beach we're gonna have to move fast <laughs> What are you doing back here? One of them got me. Yeah. How did you manage to stick here? You didn't have your back to her, did you? Doesn't matter, she's dead now. And the other one? You know, I remember my first hunt. I threw up afterwards. I'm not proud of that, but 
cherry popped is uh, cherry popped. Well, I'll get her. The only reason I came back was to get my hand good, so my aim would be true. Well, that's smart. I'm proud of you, Jackson. Very proud. Thanks, Seth. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Come on. Your brain's still out there, but you got wounded on your heart. So I'm gonna put you in a member's book. You're officially one of us now. Tonight, we celebrate. Thanks for everything, Dad. I feel like this, this really changed me. It has. You're an alpha now. An apex predator. You remember that. Now go see Virgil, get some bolts, and get back out there. Last night, but these assholes are on to me, so we gotta get going, okay? Get this fucking thing off me! Down the crossbow, Jackson. I said, Hi. put it down. Okay. I thought we had something. You look so innocent when we first met. 
I wanted to save you from all this. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. But my dad. Dad, always your dad. You made the decision, Jackson. You did. These girls. They had names. My daughter had a name. Just put the gun down. We can figure this out. Hey, I'm sorry, but... I say kill the fucker. Things worked great. GPS chip fit perfect. Listen, I saw something in his eyes. He could have killed me, but he didn't. Yeah, he probably just choked. Don't second guess it. All right, let's finish this. I gotta tell you guys, I mean, holding that lifeless body in my arms, the power, unreal, right? Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. This is what Carter was talking about. This is what it feels like to reclaim being a man. Fuck yeah. Damn straight. You know why, guys? It's because we're alphas. Yeah, we are. Alpha man. Yeah, right? Hunt. 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 The fuck was that? Fuck, he's dead. Go check that shit out. No, you go fucking check it out. I said go check the fucking shit out. Hey, I'm not a pussy. I'll go check it out. Over there. That's where it came from. Where are you, bitch? Where are you, bitch? Come on, bitch. You see her? Come on, bitch. Yeah, inside there, in the woods. Come on, bitch. She came from in there. Holy fuck! No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this, bitch. I'm gonna take you out like you've never seen before. I am gonna fuck you up so fucking bad, you're not gonna know what the fuck it. Language. Try using big boy words. Fuck you. Yeah, that's not it. You want to know what a dead body really feels like? Dead weight. Get this fucker. Easy. 
Give me the keys to the holding area. Now! Easy. <laughs> what you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? Huh? You want some of this? How does that feel? Huh? How does that feel? Because you're holding a gun. Oh, look at you all manly. You get to chase defenseless women while holding guns. Don't forget the crossbow. Keep things primal. That uh, bracelet there you got on your wrist. I knew something looked familiar. <laughs> yeah, a girl I run into uh, was wearing a bracelet like that. Was my daughter. You know, I kind of can see the family resemblance. <laughs> Put up a fight when I killed her. for my daughter, you piece of shit! See you in hell, fucker. Okay, what now? Dogs are hungry. Some scotch, you want anything? Oh, no, no, um, I don't know. Maybe some aloe for my dick. <laughs> I think that little lady, uh, she just fucked 10 years off my dick. Yeah. Oh, man, I need a shower. Oh, I'll tell you though, what we do need to do is we need to probably save some of this Lexi for the last night. She's running a little low on energy. Yeah, man. I don't think another day with us is gonna give her any rest. <laughs> That's a good point. Well, I'll tell you what, those blue pills or something else, I like to keep me going all night. Uh, my gas to the lit flame. <laughs> Save me some. Go to the lot for some whiskey. Oof. <laughs> Not better to take the piss in the woods anyway. You 
could have. You're John Bobbitt? Yeah, and I almost missed it because it's so small. <laughs> uh, fuck you, bitch. Just finish me. Please. <laughs> no, thanks. I'd rather watch you bleed out and suffer. <laughs> What's what up? This sicko and his brother had a girl with him. Name's Lexi. Check out their cabin. What about you? I'm going to the lodge. Carter's mine. I'll meet you there after I pay the brother a visit. Be careful. These guys are snakes. You be careful. You're looking for the damn King Cobra himself. <laughs> About me, I'd rather focus on you. Yeah, and now you're focused. Untie her legs now. I said now. Oh, 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 look, look, I got money. Why do men always think money solves everything? Shut up and shut up and get on the bed now, bitch. You okay? Dick off for what he did to me. Already did that to his brother. For real? Yeah, for real. Hey, there's a knife on the bed if you want to make them truly identical twins. What? No, 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 look, I, like I said, I pay you. Now, I know you like money. I don't want entertainment, asshole. I want payback. <laughs> <laughs> Getting out of this one. Where's Jackson? Where do you think? Don't play games with me. Or what? You'll kill me. I'm not to worse than that. You're gonna beg me to turn your lights out before I'm done. 
You don't have the balls. Just like your son, who couldn't bring himself to shoot me. What'd you do? Seduce me, you little whore. Forgot the cardinal rule of the hunt. Never get too close to or emotional about your prey. You killed him. No. You did. With all your alpha bullshit. Murdering women just so some weak, scared assholes can feel some misguided sense of superiority. People die every day. It was a just cause. Funny. And I'm here for a cause, too. My daughter came here about six months ago. She was doing what Lexi was doing online, trying to earn money for college. If I had nothing to do with that. You had everything to do with it. We heard about your little hunt club on the dark web. It just took us a while to track you down. Remember the scene at the diner? That was me trying to infiltrate your group. A kayak. It's a true girlfriend. Oh, I should have known. Yeah, it's not very alpha of you. What about you? You killed all these men? You're just like me. Oh, I'm nothing like you. I only kill bad people. <laughs> Is that so? You didn't have to kill them. You did it because you like it. I did it. Because you murdered my daughter. It's not the same thing. It's exactly the same! You came here to save your daughter? I was trying to save my son! And look at us. Look at us now. We're both grieving. Do you know the history behind my name? No. Cassandra was the daughter of the King of Troy. She was a virgin priestess to the god Apollo. He tried to win her hand, so he granted her the power of foresight. But she refused his advances, so he cursed her, made it so no one would ever believe her prophecies. She was raped, and then sold, and eventually killed by the Greeks. So you hate men based on mythology? You don't get it. You were creating monsters here. That's what drew the daughters of Artemis to you. <laughs> the goddess of the hunt. You're just a garden variety vigilante. Get up. Let's go. I'm reaping my spoils. I told you to come back. I want to present you ladies with a choice. Carter here is the hunt master. This is his island, his hunt club. He's been hunting women here for decades. Ugh. But he claims that he suffered, lost his son, pretty much everything. Fuck him. Karma's a bitch. You have three options. Option A, you can contact the authorities and let the legal system enact justice for everything that you've been through. He's rich. He'll find a way to get away with it. They always do. I don't think prison is good enough for him. Option B. There's $100,000 right there. You can divide up that money, leave the island, release him, forget all of this ever happened, and move on with your lives. Option C. You take the money and you deal with Carter yourself. Wait, wait a second. Shut up! I swear you all talk too much. If you choose option C, I recommend you towards the compound, destroy any evidence that you were ever here. You don't want any of this. Not our jam. We're hunters, not bounty hunters. All the boats down on the docks have their keys in them, right? Your choice, ladies. Ladies, we, we can discuss this. Like you said, I'm I'm rich. You don't have to do this. You okay? Oh my 
much better. It's not mine. At least most of it. Was that the book? Yeah. Well, their names and addresses. We've got members all over the world. Plus hunt clubs like this one. No. This is going to really hurt. Sounds like they went with option C. We forget anything? Not exactly anything. Tessa. for all these guys and make them pay? Looks that way. Can I join you? I don't know, what do you think? I think you're gonna join us. You need a new name, like mine. Symbolic. That's fine. I wanted to keep my identity private from these guys. Lexi is not even my real name. What is it? Diana. What? <laughs> Diana's the Roman name for goddess of the hunt. No shit! <laughs> Let's get hunting. Waste away your dreams, your life.